Welcome to Montego Bay. My name is Nelly and I'm a watchkeeper in the deck department on board Logos Hope. Our time in Jamaica has come to an end and I want to share with you some of the great things which took place during this visit. This is not the first visit of Logos Hope to Montego Bay. Her previous sister ships once also made their way to the Caribbean island. Since then, many lasting connections and friendships continue to exist and many Jamaicans were excited to welcome the ship back as they remember their last visit to one of the ships. The mayor of Montego Bay, Mr. Homer Davis, and acting Costas Rotolorum, Mrs. Claudia Bryan, were invited to open the book fair to the public. Mrs. Bryan fondly recounted that her son celebrated his sixth birthday on board Logos 2 when the ship visited Montego Bay in 1996. Coming back to Logos Hope reminded her of this special occurrence and she shared about the impact the ship had with the crew members. It was our pleasure to welcome more than 40,000 visitors to the book fair and hold a variety of events for them on board. Young visitors had the opportunity to attend one of our school events with their class. During this event, school children participated in an interactive treasure hunt with activities and stories, enjoying the experience of a unique school day and learning while having fun. The ship's live theatre production of The Lion, the Witch and the Wardrobe drew in many families in Montego Bay. Since 2016, the ship's own cast have been performing in this production and 16,600 visitors have attended these theatre shows. A time set aside for visitors to connect with crew members at the end has given the program a deeper meaning and the cast an opportunity to share the impact of the play in their personal lives. Even though the Montego Bay area is known for its touristic sites, there are still many communities in need of help. To find out where they could be of the most help, Logos Hope's crew members work together with the local representatives of the organization Youth with a Mission, also known as YWAM. One team was sent out to help the homeless by helping to prepare food for them. The volunteers enjoyed singing songs and sharing about the experience on the ship with the people while they were eating. Crew members also listened to their stories, not only satisfying their physical hunger. Another group of crew members made their way to the YWAM base to provide knowledge through setting up a library. It was a special moment for the partner organizations team, since the campus had never had a library before. Crew members enjoyed the community during the donation process. The problem is there's a lot of poverty in our local community because a lot of people are unemployed. Um, and some of them are unemployed because they have no skills. Being able to actually renovate and furnish a room with books and have it clean and fresh paint and ready to go, so it's a welcoming place for people from the community to come to learn. I mean, that's just, it's a huge blessing for us. Having the extra hands to do it made this become, move from a wish to actually becoming a reality for us. Without your support and prayers, this visit would not have been possible. Please continue to take part of this journey as we make our way to the next island bringing hope from shore to shore.